Hey, ladies and gents, Lee Mutad here once again. Uh, as always, I'm glad that you come to visit me, and hopefully you find me uh, mildly educational and informative. And thank you for visiting. Uh, this video is going to be geared towards the uh, Colt LE6920. That's exactly what this is. Yes, indeed. The LE6920 by Colt. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I'm sure you can. All right, there you go. Colt Defense, Hartford, Connecticut. All right, let me get right down and dirty with this thing. What you have here, and just take my word for it because, you know, trying to show you all the markings and everything. On the barrel itself, it's stamped uh, 1 and 7 twist 556 five, NATO, which what that tells you is you can, you can effectively shoot just about any ammo in here because of the 1 and 7 twist. And furthermore, because of the stamping, you can go from 223 to 556 five, NATO. Any weight any size tracer doesn't matter and this fine colt is going to cycle it okay it has a2 flash hider which some folks don't know on the bottom you'll notice there's no grooves the reason they do that is because when you're going over or you're you're shooting prone and of course this rifle is safe it's safe you know it's all good but anyway, I did a safety check on it, so there you go. Uh, as you can see, there's no openings on the bottom of the A2 flash hider. This is a fine flash hider. Uh, it, it throws the gases out to the side and out the top, hides the signature of the blast in the barrel, but also, because of the flat bottom, it directs the gases elsewhere so you don't create a signature when you're firing over dusty walls, over prone position in the dirt, for you know so there's not a signature for someone to be able to see that good innovation good thought it's not an afterthought okay now there's the stamping now there's something very specific about Colt that uh, other manufacturers don't do this is high grade steel in the barrel okay very high grade very hardened steel but Colt mixes it with, called, with what's called vanadium. Now, vanadium being mixed with this steel allows it to wick heat much faster than ones that aren't. There it is in a nutshell. High quality stuff. Colts cost more, and there's a reason for it. They magna particle test each one of these barrels individually. Other companies do not. Let me explain to you what's going on when I say that. Not all, but other companies don't. They do what's called batch testing on their barrels and other components. Batch testing is when they take a lot of 50 or a lot of 100 barrels and they take one barrel from that lot of 100 or 50 and they mag particle test that one barrel high pressure test that one barrel and if that one barrel out of the hundred or fifty passes they pass them all do you hear me knocking not necessarily bad most of them work but mathematically you could end up with a crappy barrel just saying okay moving right along another thing other companies don't do uh, you can see it. It's on here. Trust me. There's an F stamp right there on the forward sight. What the F stamp means is this is a consistent mil spec height sight that is insured because of the stamp. And also, the coating, which is parkerization, is also on the inside of this bottom section where it attaches to the barrel. So it's coated. Other companies leave this bare metal, machine bare metal, on the barrel and on the forward sight, and then they assemble it that way. That allows corrosion, of course, to be able to be getting under there and doing heebie-jeebie bad stuff to the barrel, the front sight, and I can go on if you hear me knocking. Okay, moving right along. Uh, by the way, this is a medium barrel. Uh, the very barrel that they put on uh, the AR-15s for combat full-auto ones, which this is not. 
this is a semi-auto version of the M4. But as you can see, it has the grenade launcher cut out. Uh, not that you know a civilian would ever need that, but you civilians can get it with proper credentials for non-lethal applications. Okay, so there you go. Now, foregrip, two-sided. It's double insulated, which mostly only comes from cold. There's two layers of metal ins insulation inside here to reduce the heat coming from the barrel to your hand. It's, it's vented on the top and vented on the bottom. Works very well. Moving right along on this particular one, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the breakdown here and open this up here we go pulling the bolt out as you can see right here there's the bolt carrier now let me put this down so I'm not doing anything crazy this is the bolt carrier for the M4 uh, LE 6920 as you can see which I know you can you see that C right there that C stamp says that this bolt carrier has been tested, high pressure tested. And another feature of the M4, which you get with Colts, with the M4 carbine, notice the heavy non-cutout bottom in reference to the non-cutout top. On regular AR platforms, this cutout on top is much thicker than the one on bottom. The regular AR bolt carrier only goes about that far. This is a full auto M16 bolt carrier. If you hear me knocking. Okay? Now, the bolt itself, uh, you might have to take my word for it, but you can see right there, there it is, that's the stamp. Individually mag particle tested. Mag particle testing is done to x ray, if you will this individual piece of metal by Colt to make sure that it is completely solid, no cracks, no blemishes. Very important. It's why they cost more than others, but it's worth every penny. You know that in a situation like carbine instruction, carbine classes, this is not going to fail. On the top, gas tube. The gas tube, what it does is it throws gas through here, down in behind the bolt, and that's what makes this bolt fly back and forward. Okay, you hear me knocking? There's a piston in there, and that's what makes it actuate. On the top, this is fully military specification staked. You see the notches in there where it's actually pressed in the metal, and that keeps those bolts in place so they're never going to come loose. Another great feature. Other companies do this, and some of them are meeting the specs, but most of them don't. They're just doing it however they want to, whatever their company decides to do as far as staking these bolts up here. Another important feature. So there you have it. With that, these are the quality firearms that you get from Colt, Colt Defense. Uh, you shouldn't miss out. Oh, another feature here, as you can see inside there, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but there is an H stamped right into the buffer. That's the high quality, been tested, high quality buffer to go to stringent specifications. So there you go. This one happens to have the Colt Defense Roger stock on it, which I like very much for position. Now, if you were to take this care, uh, if you were to take this uh, buffer tube off of here, this is a military full scale buffer tube. Okay, you know this by removing, you can remove the stock, and you know if you've got a mil spec buffer tube because it's cut, it's flat 90 degrees on the back when you take the, the stock off. That's how you know you have a full size H buffer tube military spec. Okay, Colt, fine, fine firearm. Okay, if you're going to get one, get a Colt. Be proficient, practice. You can seal weapons carriers, carry daily, practice once a month. Thank you for watching. See you later, y'all. Bye. Subscribe.